Hey guys, making this video on my iPad due to some technical difficulties, but uh, we got it. We're gonna show you how to, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know just to connect to the Mastodon API and we're gonna make a couple status updates uh, from, we're gonna do one from curl and one from Python. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to connect and and you'll be able to do whatever, you know, get started making a Mastodon bot or whatever. So uh, let's go. So the first thing I want to do is uh, we're just going to go right from the beginning. We have an account, so well, not quite right from the beginning because we're assuming that you have a Mastodon account here. If you don't, uh, just go to a Mastodon site, something like mine is on uh, Mastodon, mstdn.social. So uh, uh, there's a few different ones that you can go to to create. Uh, you can just look up Mastodon server. Another one is sweater.at, I believe. Yeah, so, uh, you know, create your Mastodon account. So we have our Mastodon account. It is, uh, this is just one that I created that I put, you know, just send quotes to. Uh, and then once you're on there, you want to go to your profile settings. <clears throat> and then you can scroll down to there's a development tab. Tap on that and hit new application. And I already did this, but basically what, you're, what it's going to bring you to is a page where uh, you have the options to set the scope, you know, what, what uh, permissions you want that application to have. And then you're going to um, hit OK, and it's going to generate uh, the thing that you want here is this access token. So uh, let me copy that. So we're going to need that to do a status update or to connect to the Mastodon API in any way. Um, this is the documentation. If you just Google Mastodon API, you can find the documentation. And I always just scroll down and all the methods are, you know, down the page a little ways. Um, this is the statuses one. So, but uh, anyway, let's, um, first thing we'll do is I want to make a curl request uh, just to kind of explain the API and, and how that works. So uh, we're just going to use curl and we're going to go to our Mastodon server, which is going to be mstdn for, for mine.social. Uh, it might be switter.at for you or wherever your Mastodon is being hosted. Uh, and then for a status update, it's api slash v1 slash statuses. And that can be found uh, in their documentation. You can see right there under post, it says uh, mastodon.example slash api v1 statuses. We're just going by that. Uh, and then there's a couple bits of information we have to send it. We gotta send it our header, which is gonna have our authorization information, uh, which will be authorization space uh, colon space bear space, and then our token. Good. So we got the token in there. Um, close the quote there. And okay, and then we need to put our form parameters. And uh, this uh, status update only requires one parameter, and that's just the status update. And um, so let's try. Hey, posting from terminal on my iPad. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, and that's it. So we're gonna hit enter. We get a response back, and you can see that's a that's a, a JSON response. Uh, we get you get the ID and some other information, just about the account, and then if we go to our Mastodon profile, we should have the update there. Once it loads, there it is. Hey, posting from terminal on my iPad. Okay. Uh, so we got that one, and then I just want to show you uh, one more. Uh, just if you wanted to script this out more, you can use you can do uh, you can do it with Python. So to use Python, um, I don't have. There is an app for iPad called Pythonista three, I think it is that you can apparently run Python on the iPad with. But uh, I'm just SSH'd into a server here, and uh, it's got Python three installed. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So this is just an Ubuntu server. 
Um, so let's uh, let's make a file mastodon.py. All right, and then we'll uh, we'll just make our little script. So we're just going to use a Python library called requests. And actually, I'll probably need to install this for this script to run. But uh, anyway, we'll get that in a minute. Import requests. Then we need to add our URL to a variable. And that's going to be that statuses URL once again. Mastodon.social slash API slash v1 slash statuses. We want our authorization token here. And it's going to be, uh, actually, this is going to be a dict a dictionary authorization uh, bear space and then our token don't share your um, authorization token with anybody by the way uh, if you do though there is an, an option in uh, under developers where you can under your app you can just say regenerate access token and it's going to kill any of them that you had active um, you'll have to change you'll have to update it in your scripts and stuff but uh, that that option is available so you can do that if you need to um, which is nice all right so we got our auth token in there did i make that no and add the curly bracket and then we put our params which is going to be addict again that's the status so you can see it's a, it's a little bit different syntax than the curl. I'm posting from Python. Oh, that's, I'm gonna use uh, double quotes here just cause that, actually I probably just need to escape that. Hopefully that works. We'll see what happens in the update. Anyway, so okay, there's our params, and then we make our request right here with requests dot post our URL in there. Uh, we put our data is params and our headers equals auth, which is that auth variable. And then we'll print the response just uh, so we can see it. It should be a JSON response, or it should just, yeah, it'll be a JSON response. Um, and we could get, I think we could just get a, a status from there too. Like a, if, you, if you get a 200 back, it means success, um, that kind of thing. So, okay, let's save that. And then let's run it. Python Mastodon. I'm thinking we'll probably have to install the request module library. End of line while scanning string. Oops. Let me go back into my. Forgot to close that. It worked, so I don't. I didn't have to install requests. I guess that came, came with it. So that's nice. So that response two hundred. That means success. If you get a different number than that, then uh, that's not a good. That means there's no success. And you can, you can look up what the different responses mean. So, if we refresh this here, we should see a new one. I'm posting from Python. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm glad this kind of worked for my iPad. This is the first first time. It's kind of an experiment here with the uh, recording from the iPad. I, I had recorded this on my uh, Ubuntu tower, my main computer, and the uh, video and audio were, like, out of sync. So I was I had been watching some, some guy who does uh, a lot of network administration from his iPad. And I was like, hmm, maybe I'll just... Uh, see how this works so let me know what you think if it you know if it's good format or if anything needs adjusted or it's kind of nice because it's you know super portable this way so uh but anyway 
uh, that's how that's how you interact with the Mastodon API. And thanks for watching. Peace out.